Hello viewers. In the last video we studied about cell cycle components and with that we completed the topic self sufficiency in growth signals the role of oncogenes. Today we are going to study about another hallmark of cancer which is insensitivity to growth inhibition. We will study about the role of tumor suppressor genes. So tumor suppressor genes oppose any of the various hallmarks of cancer. They prevent the uncontrolled growth. And initially it was thought that the proteins encoded by the tumor suppressor genes they mainly function by applying breaks to the cell proliferation and DNA replication. But it is now known that uh, the tumor suppressor genes they prevent the malignant transformation by various other mechanisms. Like they alter the cellular metabolism, they ensure the genomic stability and loss of function of tumor suppressor gene lead to unregulated cell growth. So we will be studying about the retinoblastoma gene or the RB gene. It is present on the Q arm of chromosome 13 and it was the first tumor suppressor gene discovered. It was discovered while studying about a rare inherited disease familial retinoblastoma. So the uh, retinoblastoma occurs in two forms, sporadic form and familial form. 40% of retinoblastomas are familial and the predisposition to develop tumor is transmitted as autosomal dominant trait. And the carriers, the carriers are those who have one copy of defective RB gene. One copy is normal and one copy is defective. The individuals, though they, they, the carriers are phenotypically normal, but they have a 10,000 fold increased risk of development of retinoblastoma and that too in both the eyes. And they are also at increased risk of development of osteosarcoma and various other soft tissue sarcomas. 60% of retinoblastomas occur sporadically. Uh, there is uh, usually involvement of one eye and the individuals are not at increased risk of development of various other forms of cancers. Now this, the two patterns of occurrence of retinoblastoma can be explained by Nudson two hit hypothesis. By Nudson two hit hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, two mutations or hits involving both the alleles of RB are required to produce retinoblastoma. Let us take the familial form. So in the familial form, the child has inherited one defective copy of RB gene. So the child has inherited, already inherited the first hit. The first hit is present in the germ line. So all the somatic cells of the body will have one defective copy of RB gene. Now for the development of retinoblastoma, second hit is required. Second hit in the form of uh, spontaneous uh, somatic mutation, spontaneous somatic mutation and this should occur in the retinoblast. So the retinoblast which already has first hit in the form of the germline mutation uh, which is inherited by the child. So in the retinoblast, second, if the second hit develops, so it will affect the normal uh, RB allele. So th this mutation will affect the normal RB allele and this will lead to development of retinoblastoma. And the chances of occurrence of this second hit in familial form are quite high at least a proportion of retinoblasts uh, develop this second hit and so the chances of development of retinoblastoma are high. So these individuals they have 10,000 times increased risk of development of retinoblastoma as compared to the general population. Now let us take the sporadic form. So in the sporadic form the child has inherited both the normal copies of uh, the RB gene. So uh, this indicates the normal copies of the RB gene. So the somatic cells of the child will have the both the normal alleles are uh, unaffected or they are normal. So, and in the retinal cells or in the retinoblast, two somatic hits are required in the same retinoblast for the development of retinoblastoma. So the probability of occurrence of 
two somatic hits in same retinoblastoma so uh, same retinoblast is quite low the probability is quite low this explains uh, why retinoblastoma is uh, very low uh, the occurrence is very low in general population so uh, one defective rb gene is not sufficient to produce retinoblastoma it has no adverse effect on the cell behavior and the phenotype is associated with rb loss of function and this behaves as a recessive trait when both the uh, rb alleles are defective only then cancer will develop uh, or retinoblastoma will develop the rb gene is also called as governor of proliferation it is governor of proliferation so let us see how it regulates proliferation rb gene is governor of proliferation it is a negative regulator of g1 to s cell cycle progression and it is directly or indirectly inactivated in many human cancers it exists in active hypophosphorylated state in quiescent cells and inactive hyperphosphorylated state in dividing cells or the cells which are passing through the g1 to s transition so the growth inhibitors tgf beta p53 they stimulate the cdk inhibitors which inactivate the cyclin d cdk complexes cyclin d cdk4 cyclin d cdk6 cyclin e cdk2 these complexes they phosphorylate rb so when they are inhibited rb remains in hypophosphorylated state and in hypophosphorylated state it binds to the e2f transcription factor it bind and it sequesters the e2f transcription factor and this complex then binds to dna and then uh, it recruits uh, uh, chromatin modifying factors histone d acetylase histone methyl transferase and they inhibit the transcription of s phase genes so in hypophosphorylated state rb applies breaks to the cell cycle progression so transcriptional block occurs as when the cell is stimulated by the growth factors egf pdgf they activate the cyclin d cdk complexes and these complexes then hyperphosphorylate the rb so in hyperphosphorylated state uh, it the e2f transcription factor is released so e2f transcription factor then binds to the e2f site and transcriptional activation occurs so the s phase genes transcription of the s phase genes occurs and the cell progresses from g1 to s phase or the breaks uh, that were applied uh, by the rb in hypophosphorylated state in hyperphosphorylated st state the breaks of the uh, cell cycle progression are released so the cell progresses cell, cell cycle progresses now rb function can be compromised if there is loss of function mutation involving both the rb alleles or there is gain of function mutation that increase or upregulate the activity of cyclin d cdk complex so when there is up regulation in this activity it will lead to hyperphosphorylation of rb or it will lead to inactivation of rb or when there is loss of function mutation in the cdk inhibitors so the cdk inhibitors are inactivating the cyclin d cdk complexes when there is loss of function mutation in the cdk inhibitor so this will also lead to hyperphosphorylation of rb because the cyclin d and cdk complexes will not be inhibited by cdk inhibitors the loss of cell cycle control is central to the malignant transformation and one of the four key regulators these four key regulators of cell cycle is dysregulated in vast majority of human cancers rb cyclin d cdk4 p16 p16 is cdk inhibitor and also transforming proteins of dna viruses for example polyoma virus a uh, large t antigen e7 proteins 
of high risk human papilloma virus for example hpv 16 they also bind to the hypophosphorylated rb in a similar fashion as the e2f they bind to the same pocket uh, uh, which is used by the rb to bind the e2f so when they are binding the hypophosphorylated rb e2f becomes free so they free the e2f transcription factor and e2f factor then binds to the etf site e2f site and transcriptional activation occurs or the cell progresses in the cell cycle so rb is the point of integration of these opposing forces the growth promoting forces and the growth inhibiting forces and rb is the key regulator of cell proliferation or the governor of proliferation so in this video we studied about the uh, rb gene which is a tumor suppressor gene and in the next video we will continue with the topic insensitivity to growth inhibition we will study about another tumor suppressor gene tp53 which is the guardian of the genome i hope today's video was useful for more such videos please subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share my videos thanks for watching